So we've got this little seven foot tall person and he's walking away from a 20 foot tall lamppost light and he's walking away from it. And so the rate, if I call this distance, the distance away from the, from the lamppost X, he's walking away at a rate of five feet per second. So whenever they give us a rate, they're giving us a derivative. So the rate at which this is increasing dx dt is 5. Now when this shadow shines down on him, he's getting a shadow, and we'll call the length of his shadow y, and they want to find the rate at which the shadow is changing, so they want to find the rate, so dy dt uh, at the point when he's 16 feet away from this, so when x is 16. So now that we've got it translated into math, we need an equation to relate all these variables. And what we have are these similar triangles here. This big triangle and this little triangle are similar because the guy's standing straight up and they share the same angle, so angle-angle similarity, yay. And we can make proportions since they're similar triangles. So we can say the length of the big triangle, x plus y, is to the length of the little triangle, y, as the height of the big triangle, 20, is to the height of the little triangle, 7. So big to little equals big to little. You can set this proportion up however you want as long as you've got a, a method to your madness because the uh, diagonals will always end up being the same. So if I have a 7x plus 7y, equals 20y. After I cross multiply, I'll get this. 20y. Ah. And uh, so I get 7x equals 13y if I subtract the y. And I want a... Uh, actually, I could just keep solving for y. So y is 7 over 13x. And then if I want dy dt, taking the derivative of both sides, dy dt is just 7 thirteenths dx dt. So 7 thirteenths times 5, so I'm getting 35 thirteenths. And our units are going to be uh, the rates for the length. So feet per second. And there you go. Notice it didn't, we never ended up using that x equals 16, so I guess the rate at which the shadow is changing is constant, and that is that.